Hi, my precious people. I just want to come in here and pray for you guys. Shiria la ramandi di shikiria. Oh, Jesus, fill these people with your glory. Fill them with the presence of God. Fill them with your anointing. Fill them with power. Fill them with wisdom. Fill them with joy. Fill them with freedom. Because you were free, Jesus. You came to set us free. And you were filled with joy. And you were anointed with the oil of gladness, the Bible says. So no matter the circumstances, we, we should be happy. We should rejoice, be glad, dance and sing. And be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you're dry today, if you feel dry inside, you feel heavy, I just pray in the name of Jesus that God will fill you with his power, his fire, his joy, his strength, that he will deliver you out of any kind of bondage today. He will set you free from fear this morning, set you free from fear. And he will restore your life. And I want you to have faith for it. Don't lose your faith. Just because it takes a longer time than you expected. God works it in processes in our lives. Very seldom things happen. Bam like that. It can happen. That's a miracle. Very often God works as the potter. He works on a project with you and me. A process. That's why things take time. But you don't, don't lose your faith just because you don't see the breakthrough right now. It's coming. It's coming. Most of the things God is doing is like a seed that is planted inside of you from heaven. And you water it. And you take care of it. And you nourish it. <clears throat> you look after it. How? By standing in faith. By believing God's word will come to pass in your life. God's word is such a seed that can produce such great changes in our lives that it can move mountains, the Bible says. A little seed of faith can move mountains in our lives and in our nations. So, Father God, I just want to pray that your refreshment will come upon your people today. A new anointing will hit people today. A joy, a fire. I pray that people will get up on the inside and be fire starters and be filled with faith and an anointing of gladness. Give them creativity. I pray, God, that you will come into their artistic sides and give them new songs. You will give them new melodies from heaven. You will give them new titles to new books, poems, pictures to paint, other kinds of a crea creativity that they haven't done before. Heavenly creativity come down to, to people today and refresh their life in the name of Jesus. I ask God for a blessing for all my sisters and brothers that are watching me today. Let their focus be changed from all of this sadness and all these limitations up to you, to the heavenlies, to the throne room where everything is freedom, everything is peace and joy and power and, and light. Come with your light, Father God. Fill us with your light so we can shine for the world today, my precious people. Be, re be rejoicing in the Lord and be, be happy, be, you know, have your eyes fixed on Jesus. Treasure the word of God. Treasure it. It's the most precious thing we have in this life. It's the word of God and God's presence that is always here. He's always here. He's closer to you than your own shadow. You are never alone. 
and he has a purpose for your life. Don't ever, never, ever stop believing that God doesn't want to use you. Don't stop believing that he wants to use you because that's a lie from the pit of hell. He wants to use you. He hasn't forgot about you. And everything you went through has built strength on the inside of you. You're a survivor. You are a person that has become a warrior. You went through that obstacle and that fact and that fact and that fact. You're not going to be laying now on the battlefield. You went through all these facts in your life. For nothing? I don't think so. You're going to learn to stand up. You already learned it. You're stronger than you think. You have more power than you think. Yeah? You're taller on the inside than you think. Don't look at yourself minor. Don't let the enemy look at you with uh, disappointment and like you're a failure because you're not a failure. You're God's creation and he doesn't make mistakes. You're his success. Whether the enemy likes it or not, he's going to use you in a powerful way. He's going to anoint every wound, every piece of your life that was wounded and crushed you and disappointed you, where people left you, you lose stuff in your life, opportunities, you feel disappointed, you made bad choices. Hey, God is still God, the Almighty. He's filled with mercy for every thing in your life that you are disappointed on and he wants you to see it from his perspective and rejoice rejoice in the lord always my precious friends stir up your spirit don't wait for some heavy preacher to come some cool preacher just do it yourself motivate yourself today praise yourself out of any uh, discouragement or sadness or heaviness coming over you God has not given you a spirit of heaviness he has given you a spirit of peace and joy and gladness and power all the time we are not living by our emotions we're living by faith the just shall live by faith so if you are sad or you feel a pressure over you today, just uh, lift your eyes and, you know, worship. Worship God. Put on some great music. Sing worship songs. Find the greatest scriptures and say them out. Say them over your life. Put them on post-it on your mirrors. And marry, marinate your mind with those words. Because those words are the truth about you. About your life. About your future. This is the truth. Not what's going on around us is ridiculous. What's going around us is ridiculous. What's happening. And it's... Um, you see how easy it is for, for one person or one government to get a whole nation uh, into a dictatorship. It's the same thing that happened at the Second World War. It's the same old devil. Where everybody was doing the Heil Hitler sign. Can you believe it? A whole nation bowed down to that crazy person. That murderer. But there were people here and there who refused to do it. And I had this picture here where you see all these people are lifting their hands and doing this sign to Hitler. And one person is standing like this. And you should be that guy. Be that person. Because it's the same thing that's happening now. Everybody's wearing this, you know... Um, following the mainstream, you know, thinking they're doing the right thing, never asking questions, never being criticizing what's going on. Sometimes it's good to be a little critical, 
to be a little curious, to dig a little deeper, to ask questions and find out that maybe all of this is ridiculous. So, um, but we have God, we're going to break it in the spirit, right? And I know it's heavy demonic forces coming over many people on many nations right now that make them feel depressed and sad and isolated and terrible things like that. We have each other. We're all in this together, but we have each other. And most of all, we have God. We have the creator of the universe. He's on our side, people. He's not on the enemy's side. He's on our side. And together we can break down any wall in the spirit. We have to push against that wall in the spirit, that demonic wall, until it falls down. Because it will fall down if we keep praying and interceding in prayer for this darkness trying to cover the earth. But the light inside of us will be brighter than ever. Shine, shiny and bright. And let's stand up together and be that force from heaven. Be that mighty army, that people who are never bowing down to any darkness, any di dictatorship. Not these world's rulers. We are not bowing down to that. We are getting up on the inside. We, the only one we are bowing down to is Jesus Christ. We're following the heavenly rules. So if you're sad, lonely, isolated, depressed today, I have anxiety, I will pray for you. I'll pray that God will stir you up, that he will fill you with his joy, that he will surprise you. One thing I learned about God from I was a little girl up to now is that he's filled with surprises. He's a dad. He's a father that loves to surprise his children. He knows what's going on. He has good surprises for us, for you. He hasn't forgotten about you. You are not isolated from him or from people that are in the body of Christ. And I want you to know that you're loved, that you, you are seen and you're special and your prayers are heard. The Father's Father hears your prayers. <clears throat> so, my precious people, have a beautiful Sunday. Just continue. When the enemy comes against us, the Spirit of God shall raise up a standard against him. How is the standard of God? We're worshipping. We're coming against it no matter how we feel. Because we're not living after our feelings. We're living by faith, as I said. And many times when it's quiet and a little, you know, I put on some worship music. I decide that I want to have focus on heaven. And I don't sit and watch movies. I put on preaching, good anointed preaching. Holy Ghost revival preaching. I put on anointed music, soaking music, worship music, and I start dancing around in my living room just because, because I know that this is how I, this is what I'm living after. I refuse to bow down to this. That's exactly what this, this darkness wants. It wants to cover the earth. It wants to put fear on people distant them from each other, isolate them from each other more than ever and, and let them walk around with a lot of anxiety and fear. Thinking they're doing the right thing. But we know better. We're not stared by any fear, are we? We're living after heaven's rules. After the throne room's rules, after Jesus, after God, after the Holy Spirit, after his word. And we pray ourselves through any um, circumstance, right? 
God bless you, my friends. Keep pressing in. Don't give up. You're not alone. You have people everywhere that loves you, that cares about you. And don't give attention to foolish thoughts, lies, <clears throat> lies and accusations coming against your mind. Maybe you accuse yourself or other people accuse you. Don't take it in. You know where to place that. You know what accusations are. It comes from the great accuser, the enemy. He's a liar. He's an accuser. He's a killer. He's a thief. And he likes to destroy relationships and churches and friendships and, and isolate people and lie to them and, 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 and torture people. But God has so many scriptures of promises for each and one of us that we are more than conquerors we are mighty in him we are a mighty army filled with the power of god you can't beat that it's the strongest power in the universe that lives inside of us we have the resurrection power my friends do you understand you have the resurrection power when jesus went to heaven he gave that power to you and me. And he says, get up. Because the resurrection lives inside of you today. So rejoice in the Lord. And don't live after the facts. Live after the word of God. And be a faith hero. Be a strong man and woman in Christ Jesus. And we're going to pray ourselves through this. We're going to win this war in the name of Jesus. Amen.